Tied at 17 with four and a half minutes to go, Jameis Winston led the Knolls down the field and Roberto Aguayo kicked a 27-yard field goal with three seconds left to give Florida State their 27th straight victory, 2017 over Boston College. Honestly, after, after the first miss I, I hit, I didn't even know what the score was. I just went out there and kicked it and uh, after that, I mean, it was a miss, but I had to move on because I knew it was going to come down to it either way. You always got to prepare, but I mean, as time got close, we stopped them, and then there was four minutes left. So I was like, this is going to come down to a game winner, and I was just same old routine. We practice it every week, game winning kick, and it went through. We was holding each other on the sideline because we knew he was going to make it, you know, and uh, we just uh, didn't know how he was going to make it, but we knew he was going to get the job done. <laughs> Let's get past the 45 one because we got the best field goal kick in the country. And let's win the ball game. You know, and, uh, the game, we, we had the ball like eight times. So uh, when you ha get the ball that, that like, few of the times, like when you don't get the ball that much, you got to execute when you do. And uh, we, we executed that last drive. Offense was a heck of a drive at the end. Uh, like I say, the limited, that, that, that team limited your possession while you only had eight in the game. And uh, they, did a, they did a nice job of keeping things off balance, but we bent. Still didn't give up with 17 points, which I think is very critical in the game. The defense did what they always do. They stepped, they stepped up. You know, they stepped up in big time, holding them to a field goal and eventually leading them to a miss. And offense, I mean, we had, I think we had a very productive day. But, you know, like I say, when you don't get that many possessions, you got to produce on those possessions that you do have. We just had to, we had to stay stout, man. You got to, you got to trust the process, trust the, trust the, trust the calls that Coach Keller's calling. Um, you got to go out there and complete your assignment. Um, I think it, when everybody completed their own individual assignment, that's when we finally stopped it. Me and me and Dez and, and Eddie, I think, and Mario on the other side did a did a great job of getting that that push and you know maybe distracting him a little bit. But um, you know once once he missed it um, and we knew we knew um, that Jameis Jameis had it in his hands, um, I wouldn't I wouldn't want to put it in anybody else's hands except him. Again, a game is nothing compared to what happened the other day. And again, our thoughts and prayers and everything about Florida State, you know, our condolences go out to everyone. But, you know, again, I think uh, it is a little, athletics has a way of starting a healing process. And, that, and that's, a, that's a heck of a one to heal on right there as far as the excitement and just watching battle and fight and scratch and claw. The incidents that happened on, on campus and everything, it was, it was an emotional week, uh, an emotional game. We knew it was going to happen. And, uh, I mean, we had to come out there and play, you know. And, you know, nothing really changed because people are relying on us you know, to get their minds off of that. And uh, they want to go to the game. They want to see us, you know, play and come out with a victory. And I feel coming out with a victory, you know, it's very good for, for the community and, and for the school. It's very important because uh, sometimes uh, athletics can, you know, uh, be that extra motivation that you need. You know, and you can bring the campus close together. And uh, we were, were praying, you know what I'm saying? And uh, we actually had a player that was there. And, uh, you know, something else, we had senior day today. You know, so I meant a lot to those seniors and, uh, and a lot to this whole university that uh, we were able to pull off that win. Sports are a way for people to, you know, take their mind off of things. So I think these four hours that we were able to, you know, go out there and battle Boston College, that was a, that was a big part of how the community relieved itself. The Knowles will wrap up the regular season next Saturday as they take on rival Florida right here in Doe Campbell Stadium in what is yet another sold out game. That'll wrap up things from Doe Campbell Stadium, LaneHurtSeminoles.com.